All right, everybody, it's Randall, and I uh, thank everybody for clicking play on this video. Um, I was going to shoot this video last night, but I decided to sort of take the night off because I was kind of in, kind of PO'd about something. I've seen tweets from people who have stated things to the effect of well, they wouldn't be getting arrested if they weren't breaking the law, if they weren't here illegally. Um, I've seen people even going to the extreme of saying, hey, that little girl wouldn't be crying if her mom wasn't here illegally. And at that point, I'm thinking to myself, it's, it's no longer about illegal immigration. It's about losing compassion. And that is a point we are at in this country right now. Um, as you know, this week, ICE went on their raids in Mississippi. Um, I think it was, what, 680 or so people who were arrested. 300 were released and essentially given appearance tickets. They are going to have to, to appear before an immigration judge. And by the way, they are they are they do qualify to get representation at these things. It is maddening that you've had kids who've appeared as their own advocate when clearly, you know, the law of this country, the constitution protects them because there's a certain reason why in the constitution they say persons and not citizens but that's not the topic of this video um of those 680 people like i said 300 were given appearance tickets and that leaves 380 who were shuttled off to detention centers yeah you know the detention centers that are already overcrowded yeah you're gonna get 300 new 380 new bodies coming your way and it just boggles my mind Okay, now ICE is claiming, oh, well, the schools of the parents um, of children like that little girl, they were notified um, in case there was no guardian to pick them up. But that's not the point. It's not the point at all. You know, seeing the image of that little girl and the fact that people were mocking her as she cried for her mom thinking she was never going to see her again. Okay? A young child crying and people, they had no compassion. No empathy. No nothing. Just cold-hearted, well, the mom shouldn't have broke the law then, shouldn't she? And it's just, like I said earlier, boggled my mind that people could react this way. Now, all this, all this ironically is going on before Trump's ill-fated trip to El Paso, which really, really went badly. Um, there was no way in the world anything could have gone as badly as this trip to El Paso, where he was greeted with protest. Um, and, and as well as he should have. As well as he should have. Uh, because there, there's so much that he said and tweeted out that is emboldened racist and bigotry that there's no way I could encompass all that and talk about it in one video but like I said this video is not about Trump it's about laws and if anyone's ever seen the clip from the TV show The Newsroom where Jeff Daniels' character Will it is saying why America is no longer the greatest country in the world and he points out some very true facts about our low infant mortality, or high infant mortality rates, I should say. Um, the fact that we're terrible in literacy. We seem to focus all of our money, all of our spending on military, trying to outspend even our allies. And he said, we used to strike down unjust laws. And we did it for moral reasons. Now, I'm not saying that having... 
laws against illegal immigration by any means is immoral. But there comes a time where you have to look at the situation and you have to put morality over a law that's on a piece of paper. And before anybody says anything, believe it or not, cops do this all the time. Watch Live PD, okay? Watch Live PD. You will see a cop pull somebody over, and they'll have drugs on them. They'll have marijuana on them. And by law, the cop can arrest them. The cop can throw them in the back of the car, do the paperwork, bring them to jail, have them get processed. But more times than not, the cop just says, listen, I'll take this. I'm going to give you a warning. I'm going to send you on your way. All right? Cop shows compassion at that point. Something that's lacking this administration, which mirrors what's going on in the country right now. You see, you and I, the majority of the people that are watching this video, we wake up with a roof over our heads. We wake up with plenty of food in the fridge. We really, other than a few annoyances in life, don't have a lot to complain about. Okay, I, I've always thought that if you have three things, okay, outside of, you know, people in your life, if you have three things, Ceiling over your head, money in your pocket, food in your fridge. You've got nothing to complain about. Because while you're watching this video, there are people out there picking through a garbage can or begging for, their, for money for their next meal. And I think about what's going on with how we're treating the immigrants that have come to this country with the same dream, the same vision, the same hopes. The same aspirations that many of our ancestors came here for. Okay. Whether they went to Ellis Island or whether they crossed an imaginary line in the sand. It, it's still the same movie. The plot might be different, but it's still the same movie. These people have come here to better their lives. Okay. It's not like they're out there running a sex trade majority of these people that are in these attention camps they're not running a sex trade they're not running a, a drug lab a lot of these people are blue collar people in this country that have come here for a better life they pay their taxes believe it or not a lot of these people that have jobs have taxes taken out okay a lot of these people do jobs that you and I won't even be bothered to do okay and it just, I'm not a religious person, but I can actually imagine a deity looking over this country and gazing upon us and saying, this is not what I designed you for. I designed you to love your fellow man, to have compassion for your fellow man, to help your fellow man. And it just amazes me that a lot of people on the right who are doing this have Bible verses in their bios. Yeah, by cheering this on, by cheering on what ICE is doing right now, you couldn't be more removed from the Bible if you tried. There is compassion missing in this country. We need to find it. We need to get it back. So that we're not having this go on the zero tolerance nonsense about immigration we have to show compassion right now we're going to be judged by future generations are they going to look upon us and say yes they finally 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 right at the ship or are they going to look upon us 
hang their head in sorrow and say, I can't believe they let that go on. That's the choice we have. In any event, I hope you have a good night and a better tomorrow.